Hello guys, welcome to my channel and today we are going to learn about lightning record view form. So, there are different ways to create a form in Salesforce and Salesforce has provided two ways. So, either you can go by custom and create everything in your own and then display the form or you can use some lightning tags and then create your form easily. So, there are three tags that is very important and you can create your form very easily. One is lightning record view form, another is lightning, lightning record edit form and the third one is lightning record form. So, we will going to understand uh, one by one and uh, today we are going to uh, uh, learn about lightning record view form. So, uh, let's jump into the content and see how does it work. So lightning record view form displays the form in the read only format so you won't be able to edit it you will only be able to view the form so there are four things that is required to see in this like the first is like the record id is required when you are using the lightning record view form so without this you the form will not be able to display the second thing is like there are few objects which is not supported for this which is event task and the external object the third thing is like uh, when you are using lightning record view form we will also use the lightning output field to display the field we will going to see how we are using that and the last thing is like we can set the display density of the lightning record view form to either comfy or compact by default it takes the user's display density settings so let's see now how does it work So I came into my uh, Salesforce org, my free org and uh, if you see my screen I have created one lightning record view form which is this one and uh, if you notice here is like uh, all the fields are coming in the read only format and if you see one more thing like uh, the fields are if you see that there are two columns here the first one is this and the second one is this and uh, we are also going to see how I, am, I have created this one in our VS code and then if you go here in my in, on the top if you see the display density which I was talking in the first slide so right now it is comfy which means the labels and the field value will display top and bottom now if I change to compact in this case the fields the labels and the field value will display side by side so you can see here like account name and the value will coming up here so uh, let us jump into the VS Code and see how uh, I have created this. So I came into my VS Code and if you see on the left side I have created one uh, lightning web component which is lightning record view form and then if I go to the JS file so if you see here so I am basically importing few of the fields from the schema object uh, account name and revenue and I have put the name as name field and revenue field similarly we have some other fields here now if you go below we are having one list which is field list and inside that we are having all the uh, imported field name here okay the other thing is like uh, we are also having uh, two variable which is a special variable which is record id and object api name so this will automatically captures the record id and the api name of the object where we place this lightning web component so in our case we are placing this in account page so it will automatically capture the record id of account record that particular record and the api name of the account okay now going to the html file so here if you see my first statement is the lightning card so this is basically going to display a white background and with the title as account detail let me go back to the uh, UI and I can show you like if you see here here we have this white background and we have the title as account detail so going back so the next statement here is the lightning record view form okay so uh, so this one uh, I'm associating with the record ID and the object API name whatever we have created in the JS file and the next is like I've created one div okay so this this div and also I'm using the grid inside this and SLDS wrap and also I have put some padding around it so what does it do so it basically I'm using the grid pattern and trying to align all the fields inside this so uh, and then I'm using SLDS wrap I'm using this wrap because uh, 
to wrap the fields if if it exceeds uh, more than two so if you see below code like in the template i'm using a template tag here and i'm using for each loop so in this loop it will go and then it will going to uh there is one div tag here where we are using uh sls call and sls 6 of 12 which means uh, i've divided the whole section into two part and uh, and then i am having lightning output field where i am displaying the all the fields that was there in the list so these all fields will come one by one and then it will take the first field will will take six uh, size and the another one will also say check uh, also uh, uh, take the six size so both the fields will become uh, take the whole space and then the next field that will come when it the when the loop iterate it will going to display in the next line so that's how it will going to display all the fields there and uh, if you want to specify some other fields you can specify it simply put it here so this will be dynamic because it will going to display all the fields in a loop okay so i think uh, this is pretty straightforward and we don't require the apex call here and uh, we have created the form here apart from this uh, there's one more thing like uh, we can put the density here the display density and we can set the density from here as well and it will going to override the user's density that uh, we have seen before so let me specify the density here okay so i have put uh, compact as the density and uh, if you see my screen so it is currently a comfy because the levels and the values are top and bottom now i have deployed this change to my ui and then if i refresh the page so let me refresh once more okay let me reply it and refresh it once more so now you see uh, my fields and the labels are coming side by side so that's how it will going to display so that's all for today's video and in the next video we'll going to see the other two uh, uh, form creation techniques so thank you so much for watching my video and we'll see you later Thank you.